In this lesson, I'll show you how to create your own insert brush. First, get a mesh on the screen. For this example, I will use a tooth I created earlier from a Z-Sphere. Once you're happy with the way that it looks, go ahead and exit edit mode. Then click on the golden S in your tool palette and click on the bigger version. Then go to image plane 3D. All right. You're going to need to clear your canvas, so hold control and press N. Then drag the polyplane onto your canvas. All right. Then turn it into a poly mesh 3D by pressing this button up here. Go to your subtool, go to insert, and then select the mesh that you created earlier. Now, as you can see, it did put them together, but they're kind of off kilt, you know, off center. Um, doesn't really look right. So what you're going to do is go to your subtool palette and click on the mesh. Okay, you don't want the the image plane, just the mesh. Scroll down and click on deformation, and then press unify. As you can see, it did put them together, resized it, and everything, but it's uh, <laughs> it's not really going to work as a brush because anything past this plane right here, on this other side, okay, will eat into the mesh, which means it's not going to show. Uh, when you use this brush. So you're, uh, anything you want past this, um, <laughs> you're going to want to bring past it, of course. Okay, so now that you've got that done, let's go ahead and move it forward. Well, actually, for this example, I'm just going to rotate it. Okay, go up to the top. Whoops, I have uh, X symmetry on. That's another thing. Make sure uh, symmetry itself is not on. Just drag that out. Oops. And then move it forward a little bit. Now, if you're on the side plane, see this green line right here and the blue line? Okay. Anything past this green line is uh, will show up when you use the brush. So just bring it past that. Now, if you want uh, your brush to eat a little bit into this, then go ahead and you know push a little bit of the uh, geometry past that point. But for this example, we're just going to keep it uh, nice and flush against it, but not touching. Okay? And I guess we'll rotate it just a little bit more. All right. Once you're happy with uh, the way your mesh looks, go back to edit or sorry, go back to draw mode, then click on the brush palette and click on any of the insert brushes. Doesn't matter which one, it could be cube, cylinder, ear, hand, doesn't matter. Uh, for this example, we'll use the cube. Then go to your brush palette or your brush tool palette, I guess. It's up here on the very top. And scroll down to modifiers. Now you're gonna see a little preview box right here. Go ahead and click that and then click on the tool, the tooth. All right, and you're well, pretty much set. So uh, to test it out, to test out your brush, go back to the golden S, and it's going to say, do you want to switch? Go ahead and say, yeah, go ahead. Then for this example, we'll just use a sphere. Again, you're going to want to clear your, your canvas. Hold Control, press N, and draw the sphere on. Now keep in mind, we're just testing out your brush. Okay, this, this isn't actually part of um, making it or saving it. All right, so make it a poly mesh 3D. Okay, you have your brush up here. Go ahead and start drawing it on. And there you go. Now, if you're happy with the with uh, this brush and you want to save it out, like let's say you made uh, like um, shell casings from a shotgun or something, you know, or you really like the way the tooth shows up and you've got like an entire hunting tribe or something, a whole bunch of characters that are based. Um, they can basically use that sort of uh, geometry. Uh, you can save the brush. So what you're going to want to do is go to your brush palette and just press save as. Okay? And you can throw it in there. For this example, we'll go ahead and say um, saber tooth. And it'll save it in your ZBrush folder under, under uh, Z tools. Even though it's actually technically a brush. Okay, go ahead and save. And there you go. You're all set. You can use the brush whenever you want. Keep in mind, though, that uh, these don't load in instantly when you open ZBrush. So if you ever are working on another character and uh, you say, ooh, hey, you know, I really wish I had that, that uh, toothbrush, <laughs> you can uh, 
go to your brush palette and then go to load brush and select whichever one you want to load in like uh, for me I'll use the ninja star here and you can insert away so uh, there you go